I actually volunteer at the library weekly, around two hours weekly. I like restock shelf and I, I see on the labels the blue tag that says brought to you by Measure B. Over 50, like over half of the books have that label. And you can see like so many books have been bought, so many books have been checked out with Measure B money. I grew up in a in the bad side of my town, like a, a community, like where there's not like a lot of access, there's not a lot of money in low income families. And a lot of my neighbors did not have internet access, which is why I also needed to have internet access and would use the library as a resource. I came to the U.S. about seven years ago um, from Mexico. I didn't know the language at all. I needed a place to um, study. I didn't have a computer. So the library was a big influence in my life. I went there every, pretty much every day, studied the books, uh, research, and um, that helped me a lot with my language skills. I decided to go further and take action because I care about my siblings a lot and I really want them to get like higher in reading. Like my sister, she's um, in sixth grade and she can read the high school level and that's because of the library. So I'm like standing up for her to like keep on going and reading and she doesn't have that motivation without the library. What motivates me the most to keep on, um, keep supporting Measure B and letting people know about it is basically just my little siblings because um, they didn't grow up with luxuries either. So I don't want I want them to be even more successful than I am. So me and some fellow colleague, colleagues from the wildlife group decided to go to the city council meeting and present to them about Measure B. The Selma City Council passed a resolution because they saw that uh, keeping the library would help academically those to, that do not have resources at home to do their homework. I encourage all of you to vote for Measure B because we will see an improvement in our schools and education and not that that only affects us right now but it will also affect us in the future when people have careers they will see back in the day when they had access to their library and how they were able to be encouraged to do better in education. And if they take away Measure B, then we won't be able to see that difference because it does make a difference.